welcome to your first lab demo. Okay, this lab is simple smears and stains. Um, it starts on page 25 of your lab manual. Now the reason that we do this lab first is because we're going to go through a series of staining techniques. And regardless of which stain you use, you're going to have to fix that smear of bacteria to the slide before you can actually stain it. Now there are a few procedures where it would harm the stain or um, change the results if you didn't, if you fixed it first. That will come later, but unless it says not to fix it, this is what you're going to do. We're also gonna do one stain, which is called a simple stain. The other procedures you do later on will be differential stains where you'll have several steps and you're going to put two or two different stains on, okay? So before I get started, um, one, one of the things I wanted to mention in your lab manual when they have a, sta a procedure, they tell you how to do it, as well as giving you um, pictures to show you how to do it. And on page 27 of the lab manual, for this particular lab is where the pictures are. You'll notice I have the supplies in front of me that I'm going to need for my lab. I don't wanna have anything else on my lab table except for the things I need. I'm gonna need my lab manual, I'm gonna need a pencil, and I'm gonna need these particular supplies for this lab. In the lab, there's always a list of supplies at the beginning so that you know what you're going to need to get from the cart, which I showed you in a previous video. Now, before I get started, I'm going to want to um, make sure I put on my goggles. So anytime we light the flames or are going to be opening bacteria, we want to be wearing our goggles to make sure we don't splash anything in our eyes. Now, um, the supplies for this particular lab are um, you're going to need slides to put the bacteria on. A marker, you'll need an inoculating loop. We have the stain in the water, which we'll be using later. Um, you'll almost always need a Bunsen burner and a striker, and then also I have a pair of gloves. And then, of course, the um, bacteria that we're gonna be using. Ah. Ripped my glove. Maybe I should have done this first. Okay, well this is our first video, so you're gonna see all my mistakes. All right. So, okay. Now normally we're gonna be using these Bunsen burners that you would hook up to the gas line, but the gas is turned off currently and we're in a different classroom that doesn't have gas. And so I'm gonna show you how to do it on our little temporary um, gas tanks <laughs> that we're gonna be using until the gas is turned on. So um, for this, you wanna make sure your striker works and to check that you just look for a spark Okay, if you don't get a spark, sometimes if you put your finger on the back, it can help put some pressure on it so you get a better spark. Okay, we're gonna turn the gas on until we hear it. And unfortunately, this one might be empty. So I'm gonna go get another one. turn it on until you hear the gas coming out and then we're going to strike it and then we have a flint. Okay? So when sterilizing your loop you want to make sure that you get it red enough. Okay? So before we do this I'm stepping ahead of myself. I'm going to turn this off. Okay? Um, the first thing we want to do is prepare our slides. Now in this particular experiment we have two different bacteria that we're going to put on a slide. Now we can put them each on their individual slides, or as they show in the procedure, you can put two on one slide. Now, to make sure that you know which is which, you want to label that on your slide. And you wanna write on the bottom of the slide because when you go to wash off the front of it, you don't want your marker to wash off. So what you do is draw circles where you're gonna put your bacteria, and then you wanna label them, okay? So one of them is Bacillus megaterium, and one of them is Staph Epi. So I named one B and I named one S, okay? Um, there's a joke in that, I'm sure there is. Okay, once I've labeled them, I know what's on there and I've labeled them on the bottom. Okay. Now, we have our bacteria in two different media. This one is a liquid media, and I wanna just let you know that sometimes bacteria fall to the bottom, and to get them up so that you can pick them up with a loop, you're gonna wanna give it a tap and get kind of a whirlpool going to bring it up. And as you do that, the bacteria will come up from the bottom and then when you dip your loop in there, you'll make sure you get it. 
If you don't and they're sitting on the bottom, you might not get enough sample. Um, the other one is going to be on a slant. So this is a solid. I can go like this and nothing's going to come out. Not that I recommend you do that. Okay, so when I take from this, I'm taking from a solid and this one is a liquid. And it's a different step that you have to do with a solid. So we'll do the liquid first. Okay, so if we follow our procedure, um, let's go ahead and turn our Bunsen burner on now. All right. Okay, so now I'm going to flame my lube because I want to sterilize it. So I'm going to hold it at kind of a 45 degree angle to where it reddens. And you only need to do it until it's red. Okay, then I'm going to let it cool off. I don't want to touch it. I don't want to put water on it. I don't want to spit on it or anything or blow on it to cool it off. We're just going to wait until it cools off. Now, um, I'm going to go ahead and turn the flame off because this is just a demo and I don't want to run the gas out. So for the rest of the demo, we're going to pretend that the gas is on. Okay, you're not going to do that in class. You'll be really using the flame the whole time. Now, we're going to go from the liquid first. Okay, so like I mentioned, you want to tap, you want to get a whirlpool going. Now, be careful when you hold on to the lid that the bottom doesn't fall out. So get, grip onto the glass as well as the lid as you kind of tap it. Now, don't tap it too hard. You don't want the bacteria spilling out of the top. Um, also, you never want to tip it upside down. Okay, so we're going to learn good sterile technique in this class. If you'll notice, I'm using as many of my fingers as I can and not setting the loop down. Okay, it's probably cooled off by now and my flame is going. What I want to do is I want to take the lid off, but I don't want to set it on the table because I don't want to contaminate it. So I'm going to take it off and keep it in my pinky finger. I'm going to run this through the flame two times. Then I'm going to dip my needle down into the culture, run it through the flame two more times, put it back in the lid and set it down. Now I'm going to take my loop full of bacteria and I'm going to spread it on the slide where it's labeled B, because this was the Bacillus megatherium. Now I need to flame my loop again, okay, and this is just a demo, pretend that the lake flame is going. Now after I flame my loop, I'm going to let it cool. Now one of the things that we also want to look at is the difference between going from a solid um, and going from a liquid, okay? When going from a liquid, you just dip directly into it. When going from a solid, you don't want to have too many bacteria all clumped together on your slide, so you're going to add a little bit of water first. Okay, so what I'm just going to do after I've sterilized my loop is I'm going to put a drop of water okay, on my loop. You don't want to put too much on here because you have to wait for them to dry and you don't want them to take forever. So I'm just going to smear it on there and as a matter of fact, I got way too much water. Okay, that's going to take a while to dry. So after I put the water on there, I'm going to flame my loop again, and I'm going to let it cool. Now when I'm going from a solid medium, you only want to just touch the bacteria on the top. They're growing on the top. You don't want to gouge into the media. So what I'm going to do, once again, after my loop has cooled, I'm going to grab the lid with my finger, pull the tube off, run it through the flame a couple of times. Then I'm going to just touch the bacteria. You don't need very much. I'm going to run it through the flame again and put it back. If you get too much, you'll end up with bacteria sitting on top of each other and then when it goes, when you go to stain it, you're not going to be able to um, see the particular color because it's not going to stain correctly. Whew, face is flaming. Okay, and so now um, we would flame it again, okay? And once again, this is just a demo, so I wasn't really using anything, I was just uh, pretending. Okay, I'm going to take my goggles off for now because I'm starting to heat up a little bit. All right, so now that these have dried, now keep in mind this flame would be going, you would still be wearing your goggles. Okay, um, we're going to let these air dry and they, you have to really let them air dry. You can't do anything until they've dried. So if you'll notice, I don't know if you can tell, but I have way too much water on here. So when you go to add your drop of water from the loop, maybe shake it a tad bit before you put it on there because you don't want too much water because you do have to wait for them to air dry. Okay, so now I'm down here. I've transferred a small amount. Now I'm on step F. I'm letting them air dry, okay? So they've dried. And in the meantime, you can be answering some questions, doing some other things. Now that they've dried, I'm going to do, I'm going to fix it to the slide, meaning that I'm going to make the bacteria stick. Also, I'm going to kill any bacteria that are on there 
because you want the bacteria dead and stuck to the slide, but you don't want to destroy their walls, okay? There are two possibilities. If you notice in your book, there's G procedure and H. We will always do G. So cross out the H because we're not going to use the ethyl, methyl alcohol. We're going to always use the flame for fixing. Okay, so we are always going to heat fix. All right, so after these are dry, remember we're pretending these are dry and the flame is going, I'm wearing my goggles. I'm going to run this through the flame a couple of times. And so you run this through on this side, then run the other side. Now this is where a clothespin might come in handy if you're worried about burning yourself, okay? Um, after you've done that, like I said, you just run it through a couple of times. You don't want to hold it on there because that would actually be lysing the bacteria and then their cell walls would be distorted, okay? Now that I've fixed them, I'm gonna go to the actual um, staining procedure. Okay, for this particular staining procedure, I just need one simple stain. Okay, um, the stain I have is methylene blue. I'm going to get my book so that I follow the instructions. Okay, now we're going to go to page 28. So on page 28, I don't want to get this wet. On page 28, it says cover the smear with methylene. If, on page 28, it says cover the smear with methylene blue for 30 seconds. Now, if you do it a little bit longer, that's okay. So roughly 30 to 40 seconds. Okay, we have these dropper bottles. You just Put enough on there to cover the smear and then we're going to time it for 30 seconds okay we've waited the 30 seconds now we're going to rinse it off okay so i'm going to hold it at a 45 degree angle i'm going to take my bottle of water and i'm going to rinse it now you do not want to rinse directly on this smear because you could wash them off so you rinse above it and you can see the blue coming off okay so after that's done we're going to get a paper towel I should have all ready. So we're going to get a paper towel. And what I recommend is that you dry the bottom first. Okay, but what, make sure your marker doesn't come off. See, I still, I, I still have marker on here. And then you don't want to rub your smear off. So you want to blot it dry. So I just fold the paper over and go like that gently and move over to another piece of the paper and then gently blot. Now you have a slide bacteria on it that is um, fixed and has been stained so now you can actually see it under the microscope. Um, next we would go to the microscope and view that um, under the various powers.